Hi, I'm Rajana, and so I'm going to be doing a video about circumcision. So, I'll just read a bit of it. So, a 61-year-old Kentucky man, Philip Seaton, who's supposed, who was supposed to be circumcised during a surgery, but found his penis missing when he woke up, he now sues a doctor who performed the surgery for him because his penis was removed without his consent during what was supposed to be a circumcision. Okay. So, the doctor discovered that, or thought he detected cancer, and removed the penis, and later on the test showed that what the doctor thought was true, is pretty much what it says. But apparently, it was, well, and then, this is kind of what the attorney says, right? And it was not an emergency, and it didn't have to happen, this, like the cutting off his penis. And then it says that the doctor didn't consult Philip Seaton or Deborah, his wife, before cutting off his penis, and he took it to court. Okay, so first of all, why did a, I think he was 55 or something, why did a 55 year old man just randomly decide to get circumcised? That doesn't make sense to me after living probably with more than half of your life. With an intact penis, why? And, um, so, he's, like I said, he's suing the doctor for lost service, love, and affection. Court case already went through. So, a woman, when she's getting a surgery, such as like breasts, or even if she's getting down there worked on, which it has to be, no one else can give permission for it, only her. They'll wake them up because it's pretty easy to get someone off the anesthetics. I've witnessed it when my grandpa was on them. Like, they just wake up like that. And they ask them if it's okay to do this. If there's, like, a complication, say, like, when you're in the, your breast done, say it's fine cancer or something, they'll wake you up. And be like, hey, do you want me to work on this or should I leave it or what? So, this just shows that the penis really means nothing anymore when it comes to surgery on it. Because... Doctors figure, and other people, if you're working on the penis, then, well, like, you're already cutting off part of the penis, so what's the issue with cutting off more for a medical issue? People always use medical issue as an excuse for circumcision, so now it's okay to use it to cut off the entire penis, too. So, the doctor was not found, like, guilty, like, he didn't have to pay anything. Because the court doesn't even think anything of the penis anymore. Because, you know, um, it's just people always get parts of, a part of their penis cut off. So what's really the difference? That's what I think people are thinking. So, um, circumcision is wrong. And see, this just shows that you guys really need to smarten up. Because... I mean, that could be you with your penis cut off, or your kid, or something like that, because, you know what, the doctors don't care. They're in it for the money, and they don't care how much they cut off, they just do it. Circumcision is an unnecessary surgery, and it's cosmetic surgery. And it really has no need in the world today with, or ever. So, don't circumcise your children. Keep them intact. Actually, there's something I want to add on to this video. So, I called it a cosmetic surgery. And I want to change that. It's not even a cosmetic surgery, because cosmetic surgery is made is to make something better, beautiful. Like, a boob job. Women are like, oh wow, they look great. And that doesn't make it look great. Um, it's a mutilation. So, it's not even a cosmetic surgery. It's just wrong. It's just mutilating. So, don't circumcise your kids. Keep them intact. Thanks for watching. Bye.